Hello and welcome back. So today we're going to continue looking at operating systems, but we're actually going to look at some specific utilities, um, you know, to help make sure that your operating system and your computer overall is it would be run and maintained and run optimally so that, you know, you get the most use and longevity out of it. So, you know, we're going to look at those. And so let's kind of jump into the slides and start looking at them. So the first set, um, obviously, we're going to be looking at is utilities. And, you know, this is your um, general term. And as well, these are just special programs that you can run on your operating system. And they help make our life easier. So, you know, which is great because we want to have, you know, the best um, use of our system and make it as easy to use as possible. And so we'll actually take a quick look at some different ones um, as well. So we actually have five different categories of um, utilities that we'll kind of look at. So you can see them appearing here. So we have antivirus, we have different backup programs, file compression, troubleshooting, and maintenance. So each of these has their own use and reason for running them. So when we're talking and looking at them, I will actually um, you know, describe why we should be using them and everything. So let's look at the first one, which is your antivirus. And so your antivirus, as you would expect, does protect your computer from different viruses, key loggers, spyware, adware, malware. These are items that um, you know, we don't really want to have um, running on our system. So our antivirus software can help protect us and make sure that we don't have a virus that can do harm. We don't want key loggers because we don't want people knowing what we're typing, you know, especially for passwords, bank accounts, things like that. So as well as spyware, adware, and malware is kind of, malware is your general term that encompasses all of this. So we don't want any of this running on our computer. So that's why we like to run um, antivirus software. So keep that in mind, um, you know, so you might be wondering about some examples. So we'll jump back into the slides and I'll provide you some examples as well about the different antivirus software that you can use. So um, some examples you have are McAfee, AVG, and Norton. So being a student um, here at Leeward Community College, you can actually get McAfee for free. If you go onto the UH website, you can get it there. Um, AVG as well is a free one that you can download and use. And then you have Norton, which is not free. You will have to pay for it. Um, so keep that in mind. You do want to run your antivirus. And as well, it's important to make sure that when you um, have your antivirus, make sure you always keep it updated because it's only as useful as your last update. There's always new viruses and malware being pushed out um, all the time. So you want to make sure you update your antivirus all the time to make sure that you're running the latest and greatest. Um, this will protect your system um, all the better um, as well. So make sure you update. Um, so now let's look at the next type of um, you know, utilities, which is our backup programs. So our backup programs um, obviously um, help create backups of our data. We want to make sure that we back up items so that it's, you know, in case we have a system crash, you can restore your data. So here's one that's provided by OSX is called Time Machine. It's built in, so you can set it up and configure it using OSX. Another one that's provided by Windows is called Backup and Restore. And as I said, we want to use these in case we have a computer crash so you can recover your data. You don't want to lose your data, so you want to set up a backup program and schedule it to have it back up. So that leads us to the next slide where we actually, you know, um, different recommendations that, you know, you can find about backing up. So you want to make sure that you schedule your backups. I recommend doing it a weekly backup. You know, you should schedule it when you want, um, depending on your use and data, you know, schedule the backup for what you find best, but I would recommend at least weekly. If you lose data, it's only, a, you know, worst case scenario, it's only a week old of data that you've lost. And so as well, don't just back up to one type of media. So, um, you know, so cloud, external hard drive, another computer, and as well, don't store backups in the same location as a computer. So one of the reasons that I suggest backing up to um, multiple media is because of you never know if you're backing up to an external hard drive what happens if that hard drive goes bad as well then you lost your backup 
So if you back up to a cloud um, service, such as like Dropbox, you know, and an external hard drive, then you have two backups. So if one goes bad, you're gonna have the other one. So keep that in mind. And the reason you don't wanna store the backups in the same location as your computer, let's just say that, you know, someone breaks in and they steal your computer. If your external hard drive as well is right next to your computer, the thieves are probably gonna take that as well. So if you're storing your backups in the same location as your system, if something goes wrong, you know, it's in the same location. It's not gonna give you what you want. The intended purpose is not there. So always store it somewhere else. Um, you know, keep that in mind. Don't store in the same location. So let's jump back into the slides and look at the next um, utility, which is um, file compression. So file compression is very important because it helps to reduce file size. Nowadays, you know, our hard drives have gotten a lot larger, so we don't really worry about it as much. But what this does is it helps to reduce the size of a file so it can, you know, it takes up less space on our hard drive. Nowadays, we don't worry about it as much because of our hard drives have just gotten so big that, you know, we don't really worry about a couple megs here and there. Um, but it's still good to understand. So different utilities um, that you can use for file compression, you know, different software is from OSX. It's called the Unarchiver. And another one is 7Z that will run on Windows and Linux. And we have PZIP, which is also Windows and Linux. And then you have WinRAR, which only runs on Windows. So keep in mind that, you know, file compression is a great utility because it helps to reduce file size. So, you know, if you're trying to send a document through email, you might want to compress it, save a little space so that you don't have to upload such a large attachment. So you can use those utilities that I listed and they'll help compress the file size to reduce the size to make it easier to send the document um, you know, through email. So keep that in mind. So let's kind of um, now jump back into the slides and look at the next one, which is gonna be troubleshooting. So troubleshooting you know, is great because if you're having problems within your system, you can use these different utilities to help figure out maybe what's going on. So one in Windows is the task manager, and you also have one in Windows as well called troubleshooting. In OS X, you can look at the activity monitor, and as well, if you're not having issues just with hardware or software, and let's say your internet connectivity is not working, you can use the ping command as well to help troubleshoot your networking problems. So these different utilities can help with figuring out maybe why you know, certain hardware is not working or why some application isn't responding like it should. So, you know, keep these in mind, become familiar with them so that you know how they work and how they operate and when to use them. So, you know, troubleshooting is a skill that the more you do it, the easier it becomes. So, you know, practice and just keep, um, you know, if you have problems, Google it. Just keep looking into it and seeing if you can figure it out. And, you know, as well, you can always ask, um, you know, the ICS faculty here and we can try to see if we can help you out as well. So now let's look at computer maintenance um, as well. So let's jump back into the slides. And so computer maintenance is very important because we wanna help keep our system running optimally. We wanna get the best performance out of it. You know, we spend a lot of money on getting a fast system, you know, so we wanna make sure that we maintain having it run. So you wanna run this maintenance, um, you know, regularly schedule it if you can and run it when you um, all the time so that you make sure you get the most performance and speed out of your system as possible so different utilities that you can use are actually um, you know disk utility in OS X and disk management in Windows and another one that you can download um, as well and use is called CC cleaner and this one works on Windows and OS X so as well, you know, these are just different utilities that you can run to help make your computer run more optimally and get the most out of it. But keep in mind, these aren't just the only ones. There are other ones out there that you can find, but I would recommend doing some research on the utility beforehand to make sure it does really what you're saying, what it says it does. Um, so keep that in mind. And as well, if you ever have questions about something, feel free to contact us and we'll provide you with our, um, you know, best uh, 
answer it that we can. So, you know, these are different utilities that we kind of covered quickly that you can use to help maintain your computer and get the most out of it. So um, thanks, and we'll see you next time.